Chris, it's Knox, and there has been a lot of high-level derby action in the last few weeks. There were five tournaments in the last month and a half. Hometown Throwdown, Best Earns, Thin Air Throwdown, Brouhaha, and Pack Destruction. Some of these were behind a paywall, some of these were on a live stream for free. Blessed, uh, but whether you got to watch them or not, let's recap some of the highlights. Let's start with Hometown Throwdown. Uh, Hometown Throwdown is an annual round robin that Rose City hosts. Uh, this year it had Rose City, Angel City, and Rat City. Rose City came out victorious in both the games, but Angel City kept it pretty close with about 50 points, which was better than I expected. Uh, but the highlight of the weekend, at least for people like me, was Rat City uh, beating Angel City by about 6 points. And yeah, I know. Six points ain't shit, I know that, but I'm a Rat City fan, so I was like, Rat City bitch, Rat, Rat City bitch, Rat City bitch, Rat, Rat City bitch, Rat City bitch, Rat, Rat City bitch. I'm so weird. So next, let's talk about Best Earns. Best Earns was a thing that happened. Usually I am very, very excited for this tournament, uh, but seven of the ten games ended up being blowouts. The teams were Rocky Mountain the hosts, Arizona, Wasatch, Boulder County, and Denver. One of these things is not like the other. Arizona and Wasatch both um, didn't sanction their games with Denver, uh, which was good because they lost by a lot. I think Rocky won the weekend. They won three out of their four games. The only one they lost was to Denver, but they killed Arizona and Boulder County who were higher ranked. After Westerns, there was Thin Air Throwdown in Denver, Colorado. Uh, the teams hosted were Gotham, Texas, Denver, and Rocky. This was another tournament that ended up being full of blowouts. Uh, the only game that was remotely interesting was Texas-Denver, and Texas ended up winning by about 40 points. Something... Fuck. It's okay. It's okay. Woo! Something interesting from this weekend was, as we know, Vidiva has transferred to Gotham, um, but she wasn't in a jamming capacity this weekend. They used her mainly as a pivot role. I will be honest though, I did not pay for the feed, so it is possible that I am incorrect. After thin air, it was Brouhaha! Ha 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 ha. Honestly, this weekend was all about St. Louis Roller Derby. Our tribal and gatekeepers cleaned the fuck up. They both won all of their games, and I think the closest score differential between both squads was like 120 points. That's all I got for Brouhaha. Uh, the boy came in town that weekend, so I didn't get to watch a whole lot of it. But let's instead, wow, sorry, that was loud. Instead, let's talk about uh, Minnesota, Tampa, and Jacksonville. They weren't at a tournament, um, but had some very, very interesting scores come out of their round robin uh, over that weekend. Minnesota beat Tampa, but only by like 20, and Jacksonville beat Minnesota by, I think, 23 points. Both very, very close games, and as we know, 20 points doesn't really mean anything other than those teams are really good challenges for each other. Really hope we get to see some rematches at playoffs, and if we do, I will be cheering my ass off for Tampa. Finally, let's talk about the 2016 Pack Destruction hosted by Angel City. Again, lots of blowouts. Really, the only game worth talking about is Bad vs. Terminal. This game was so much closer than I expected, and Terminal ended up winning by 5 points. If you had told me last year that I would have said that sentence, I would have smacked you silly. So yeah, the last month and a half has been really good for high-level derby watchers like myself. Um, unfortunately, it's been kind of a theme in these tournaments uh, to have lots of blowouts. I really hope that doesn't continue throughout the season, because uh, that's no fun. What is fun is there are two more tournaments just in the next couple weeks. ECDX and St. Louis Roller Derby is debuting um, sibling rivalry at the end of the month. Um, that's going to be a really great tournament with high-level brother-sister leagues playing. Very, very exciting. Real pissed I have to miss it. Uh, my team is playing in Midwest Derby Fest, which is great, uh, but you know, scheduling conflicts happen. Happen, and I'm only like a little bitter about it. So if you have thoughts or highlights of your own from the tournaments in the last few weeks or predictions for the tournaments to come, please leave a comment in the comment section below or find me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, or Facebook. I'm everywhere these days. I'd love to hear from you. I'm like drifting out that way. The dangers of rolly chairs, ladies and gentlemen.